Oh, hey guys, it's Greg Narayan here, and this is a tutorial on how to move blogs from Blogger to WordPress. All right, so here we are on Blogger in my Blogger dashboard, and I have five Blogger blogs. Okay, I want to look at the one that I moved though, just to show you how that works. And this one's called Honest College. Honest College has 353 posts and almost 500 comments and uh, some pretty decent traffic. So let's see what happens when we view blog. All right. So keep in mind that this was moved from Blogspot to WordPress. And uh, keep your focus up here in the URL bar. All right. You saw that Blogspot really quickly. And now the uh, redirection goes through. And so it redirects from Blogger to WordPress. And this is the WordPress blog. And to prove to you that this is WordPress, I'm going to do a quick login and show you a little behind the scenes of what your new blog will look like when we're done moving. All right, WordPress dashboard is right here. Okay, if we click on the little WordPress icon, we can see what software we're running, which is the 4.0 version. It's pretty neat. We have our navigation over here on the left, which is kind of like Blogger, all right, if you're used to clicking over on the left. It's uh, the same format over here, except for you get some more options, like you can write a new post or add some media or a page up here, and uh, you get this appearance area, which is really fun. All right, appearance is where you can change your themes and your templates and really just do whatever you want in terms of how your blog is designed so that's really fun and now let's look at the blog that we're actually going to be moving together step by step from blogspot to wordpress it is called blogger to wordpress migration let's just view it right now it is obviously still on blogspot all right and it's on a blogspot domain um, but i'm going to show you how to migrate whether you're on a custom domain on blogger or on this you know, subdomain with the blog spot. So this blog has three posts. All right, and at the top is a list of everything we're, we're going to be doing. So I'm going to show you how to back up your blog, save it, how to get a new domain name and hosting. Hosting is self hosting, and you might have thought it was scary, but it's really not. I'll show you how to do it really easily. We're going to install WordPress, and then we're going to redirect things with name servers which is one step you will have to take if you use a custom domain so if you don't have this in your domain you're gonna have to do something called redirecting name servers or swapping them which I'll show you we're gonna import blogger right from WordPress all of our posts and then uh, yeah do a lot of other little things to make things uh, complete and perfect alright so these other two posts are just to show how things are going to move around. This post is popular, it has three likes, so we're going to want to keep those likes when we move to WordPress. And this post has a long title. All right? So Blogger has this weird habit of capping your post titles at I believe 39 characters, and WordPress doesn't do that naturally. So we're going to see how to keep this post exactly as it is, even though it has a long title, which can be good for SEO. All right, I think now we should talk about the cost of everything before we move, all right, because the cost is really important and it might be the most important issue of all. All right, so the cost is going to come in the form of domain name and hosting, all right? So what's that going to cost us, okay? So your domain name is going to cost $13 per year. That's 13 bucks. It's an annual cost. And uh, it's pretty standard, you know. All of my blogging friends pay this. Um, millions of people around the world pay this, and it's just a standard cost, all right, for a domain name. All right, now hosting is going to cost us about seven dollars per month, okay? And hosting is one of those things where if you register for longer than a month, like a whole year, you can actually get that cost down to about four bucks, all right, per month per year. If you did want to register a whole year up front, you would pay a lower per month cost. But we're just going to try it out for one month, all right? So um, you can just get a feel for it and set up WordPress and uh, 
yeah, I think one month, sorry, one month is gonna be good for us, okay? And I'm actually gonna show you in that one month how to get the hosting for one cent. So it's a really cool deal. I'm able to offer it through this tutorial, but um, we are gonna get hosting for one cent. Okay, one cent. The total we're gonna pay is actually only total we pay equals 13 bucks. All right, that's how much we're gonna pay today for our new WordPress site. We're gonna pay $13 for the domain name and we're gonna get hosting for one cent. And you can go and brag to everyone when you're done that you got a complete WordPress blog, really cheap, and it's gonna look really professional. All right, and if you are someone who owns a domain already, I'm gonna show you how to move that domain to WordPress and uh, the cool thing for you is you're gonna be paying next to nothing. So speaking of hosting, let's hop over to the host now that we're gonna use in this tutorial for our self-hosted WordPress. All right, so to do that, we are gonna type in www.hostgator.com. Hostgator.com. I've used a bunch of different web hosts in my career now and tried setting up domain names and self-hosted WordPress with them. And a lot of other hosts were just confusing. I would go through the steps and wasn't sure if I had missed something or if I was on the right track or not. And then they wouldn't really help out when I was done. I really like Hostgator because everything is laid out really clearly. I always know what I'm doing when I'm in there back end or in my control panel. They offer a 45 day money back guarantee if things don't work out for you and they offer a bunch of other nice features too like a hundred bucks towards AdWords and of course the basics like disk space and bandwidth and all those techie terms. So we're gonna go with HostGator here. Alright and additionally if you are gonna go with a different web host that's fine. I hope the steps here will still help I think they will, and um, yeah, just let me know if you have any uh, questions or concerns on web hosting. Okay, so to get started with HostGator and set up our self-hosted blog, we're just gonna click on web hosting, all right, in the upper left corner. And I should note that we'll have an option whether you have your own domain name or you need a new domain name, and also we're just leaving our blogger blog um, as it is. We're gonna start by setting up the domain and hosting and then we're gonna transfer. All right, so that's just how it works and it makes sure that your blog never goes down and the readers uh, really, really don't see any changes until you're ready for them to see those changes. All right, so I wanna pick one of the plans here at HostGator. They have three plans, one for businesses, which is uh, the most expensive and robust one for babies, which I actually use now because I like having unlimited domains. All right, and then they have this one, which is the most um, introductory plan. It's the cheapest one. It's good if you have a single domain name. Okay, so your Pride and Joy Blogger blog can move here, and uh, we're gonna choose this one just because it's the cheapest one, but I think either of these two are good options. So we can choose monthly. We're gonna choose one month of hosting. I do recommend one year also. That's actually what I did when I first signed up coming from Blogger. But for this tutorial, we're just gonna pick one month. And then we can click order now. All right. So I'm gonna register a new domain name in the HostGator order wizard. This is step two of setting up hosting. All right, and for a domain name, I'm just gonna put in the exact um, domain name of the blogger blog that we're moving, except for I'm not gonna put in this part, of course. So it's gonna be blogger to WordPress migration .com. and I hope it's available. I checked it about a month ago, and it was so cool. Our domain name is available. And I want the .com. All right. So if you had a domain name already, maybe you are using a custom domain name on Blogger, or you just bought one just to have in your back pocket, then you just click right here. 
all right and I'll show you what to do but you just click there and you don't buy a domain name of course if that's the case if you already own one and then you will set up your hosting and your setup you're gonna set up WordPress and then you're gonna move things over to the domain all right it's kinda like if you are building a new home maybe you have a, a home that you've lived in for a while and you tell some builders to go build a new home in a new neighborhood when someone goes to their address book to come visit you the address is still gonna say the original home alright so they're just gonna call you up and be like hey man I'm coming over and they're gonna come to your original home um, when they visit your address just like someone visits a domain name and sees your blog or your blog alright when you're ready you're gonna go ahead and update the address book alright and then when someone wants to come visit you they're gonna go into the address book and look at the address and they're gonna go to your new home in the new neighborhood and uh, then they're gonna have a lot of fun at your new home alright but we're gonna be doing the building in the new neighborhood alright and we're gonna leave your original home intact okay and the address in the address book will not change until we want it to alright and that's really important and I'll show you how that all works in a second okay but we're just gonna register a new domain name for now all right, that looks good. All right, so this is all pretty simple. Uh, just make sure you have a hatchling plan and you're doing it for one month, um, if that is in fact what you want. And then you'll enter your username and security pin and billing information. You can pay via credit card or via PayPal. All right, two good options. And then keep going down. And I recommend unchecking the additions, the hosting add-ons, because those will just increase your cost and you don't really need them for your site to run perfectly and then we get to the bottom okay so this is our order total 2001 right? and that's using the snappy coupon which is just a little bonus from HostGator and it gives you 20 percent off the hosting so there's two things to look at here there's the hosting cost and there's the domain cost and then these two green numbers actually combine to make this black number right here. This black number. Okay. If you added up these gray numbers, they would make this black number right here. Right here. Okay. So I'm going to give you a coupon you can use right here to save more money. All right. And that's coffee money. All right. This is a verified HostGator coupon and you can use it when you sign up so keep your eye on this discount right here it's gonna go up alright and I'm just gonna click the validate button so that's pretty cool it lets us save a lot more and it most importantly makes the hosting one cent alright and you even get a 45 day money back guarantee on that if you want a refund on that cent which is pretty cool okay this coupon is my coupon alright and I am a registered affiliate with HostGator. So if you do use the coupon and sign up, I will earn a small commission from them at no cost to you just for recommending the services. And I really appreciate that. If you do use it, it will help you save a greater amount. And uh, it helps me keep making these videos and keeping them free in the meanwhile. So thank you. Much appreciated. And thank you, HostGator. All right, so like I said in the intro, the cost is going to be 13 bucks. It's actually a little bit less than 13 bucks, and this is our domain cost. All right, very standard. That's not going to change. All right, and our hosting cost. All right, so once you've made sure that all your information is entered correctly, I want you to double check your email because HostGator is going to email us in the next step, and that's going to help us log into the control panel and set up WordPress. So that's all really easy, but it becomes pretty not easy if you mess up your email. And now we can just click Create Account. All right, we're going to get this, um, close this page right here. We're going to get this confirmation page saying that things worked. And then in a second, we can go check our email. All right, now check our email inbox. So now it's going to be time to set up the WordPress blog, the WordPress.org self-hosted blog. 
And we're going to do that so that when we do transfer from Blogger, that our readers have something to look at. We can't just transfer the blog and transfer it to you know the middle of nowhere. Um, there has to be something on the other end for people to read and for the new posts to all upload into. So like I said, we're going to hop over to our inbox. And it uh, looks like I got a new subscriber. Hey, Tina. That's awesome. All right. It's all through Aweber. Aweber is a great subscriber subscriber software, but this is the email you want to find. All right, hostgator.com, your account info. So it might take five to ten minutes for that email to come through, but when it does, we can just open it up and then we're going to install WordPress. All right, before we do that, I want to go back to the blog that we're moving just to show you that everything is still here, nothing has changed because we are building the WordPress blog in a different location than where this one lives. All right, this one's still living on Blogger, and we're building that WordPress blog over on HostGator, all right, on our new hosting package. We can even look at our checklist here and see that we've done number two. We've got our domain name and hosting taken care of. Uh, we paid for it, you know, we paid uh, just under 13 bucks for it, which is a great deal. And now we're going to do number four. Um, but it'd also be a good time to do number one. So let's go ahead and back up our blogger blog just in case you're worried that things might get a little crazy, even though they won't. So to back up the blogger blog, we are going to go to uh, settings, other. And when we're in other, we can just come up here and click export blog. And then we can click the orange download blog. So now you are able to upload this blog into another blog spot should things go wrong. It looks like it's done. It's down here in the XML file, so I'm going to close this. And along those same lines, I'm going to back up the template. So that's really important, especially if you've been customizing. Maybe you added some custom code into your template. All right. And uh, you're going to want to back it up. Okay. So we're going to just copy the whole thing come over here and then we can just do control a control c and then i'm going to open up a text file just paste it in there and then save it i'm just going to call it blogger template all right just save it just like that so now that template is backed up okay and now we're going to go back to template and that's great. I'm also going to back up the classic version. So I'm just going to go to revert to classic templates and then I'm going to go to revert. Okay. That gives us a slightly different HTML file which would dictate how our blog looked on the classic template and I'm going to back up that. All right. And save it. And just call it whatever you want and we can save it. Okay. And now it's time to do number four. So let's go to our email and let's open up that your account info email from HostGator. All right, great. This is really important information. It will tell you how to log in to the C panel as it's called and you never want to delete it. All right, next step to install WordPress under our hosting is to go ahead and copy this password. This is our username for HostGator and we're going to click on this link right here all right and then we can log in and we'll just get this out of the way quickly we'll get our WordPress blog set up and then we'll just move on to the migration part which is is going to be the you know the bulk of this tutorial all right welcome to the HostGator control panel there is a lot of uh, a lot of neat features here. HostGator gives us all a lot for free. But for now, we're just going to find this little clock icon, quick install, and we can just click that. All right, quick install is HostGator's one-click WordPress installer. In the olden days, you had to know code and PHP and databases to install WordPress, and that's kind of what scared some people away. But nowadays, HostGator has this nice tool and thankfully uh, a lot of other hosts are figuring it out as well and, and catching up. All right, So we're just going to click on WordPress and then we can click on continue. 
Okay, just click on continue. All right, and then go ahead and just fill out the information. Just follow along with me on your computer. We're gonna leave this one blank right here. And then we're gonna just put in our email, start a username. This will be your WordPress user, so put a little thought into it. So now that that's set, we can click install now. And HostGator just used their quick install to install WordPress on our domain name. All right. And we now have a login link to our new WordPress.org blog and this login information, which was also emailed to us. All right. So let's check our email to make sure we got that. Hop over here. And there it is. It's just going to be called uh, your new WordPress from no reply. And this, just like that HostGator email, uh, this is going to be the information to log in to WordPress. All right. So we can just close this page. Uh, really good work installing WordPress. You are almost there to the blogging point. And I'm sorry this is taking so long, but it is just kind of a kind of a hands-on and extensive process. All right. So we're going to close this page. And then go back to our checklist at the blogger blog. All right, so we've completed one, two, three, and four now. And then we have this little little part, swap name servers and other small things. So if you remember our two houses analogy from before where you're blogging on Blogger and this is one house in your old neighborhood and then you start building a house in a new neighborhood, um, what we're gonna do with the name servers is basically we're basically going to change your address in the address book. So when people want to visit you, they start seeing your new home. In other words, your new site, your WordPress blog. All right. So before we do that, I want to write a post on this blog. And I'm going to write a post called We're Moving. You can publish this kind of post whenever you want. But this is basically what I wrote when I moved. And you want to write this so that you don't confuse and you don't lose any readers. All right, we want to keep 100% of your readers. So I'm just going to publish this. All right, and then view blog. OK, now that our moving announcement is up, we can proceed to swap name servers. All right, in most cases, people will have registered their domain name if you're using a custom domain name on Blogger. It's usually registered with GoDaddy. So to change the name servers and to start directing people to our new WordPress blog, we have to log into GoDaddy. All right, so I'm just going to sign into GoDaddy. We're going to go into our domains panel so we can click launch on domains. And again, this will make sure that when people visit your custom domain, they start seeing WordPress and not Blogger. And it will take 72 hours to update entirely. It'll take 72 hours. So basically, and I know this is a little intense, um, you're basically on the clock once you make this switch. And we're going to want to import all of our posts over to WordPress and make it look, you know, as good and as uh, homey as possible. I'm just going to do it for CanCats right here. So to set the name servers, you would just open it up. And then right here in name servers, we can click manage. All right. And then we can click custom and then enter custom name servers. And then once this window pops up, we want to go back to our email. Okay. And we want to get that HostGator your account info message. And then you can just paste in these two name servers. So it's ns8365.hostgator.com and ns8366. All right. So once you do that, once you put in the information that HostGator gave you and you click OK, I'm not going to do this now because I don't want CanCats to be going anywhere. But once you do that, then people on the web are going to slowly start seeing your new WordPress site. So whereas the custom domain like this was taking them to Blogger, it'll start taking them to WordPress. All right, And that's just because the web operates under DNS settings. DNS settings which are basically the addresses and where they point, all right? So just like a phone book has addresses and you know when you visit an address you go and see the proper house that should be there, DNS settings and DNS records tell the internet browser where to go. All right, once you do that, it's going to be time to go back to Blogger. 
So if you're someone with a custom domain name, all right, then you're going to have to do a couple things in Blogger before we can import the posts from Blogger to WordPress. First off, you have to go to settings and then under publishing right here, you have to make sure the dot blogspot is in there. So you're just going to have to edit this and then make sure that it goes to your dot blogspot address, all right? And then save it. So if you're using a custom domain, you have to revert back to the dot blogspot domain before moving blogs. Then you're going to have to go to privacy, all right? Privacy. And we're going to click edit. And then we have to make sure that the search engines cannot find our blog because we don't want to be listed for duplicate content, all right? Once we move the content from Blogger to WordPress. So we can just click no right there and then we can save changes just like that. And don't worry um, if you ever want to go back this will all still be here and you can all you can always just reset these settings to have them back how you wanted. All right let's view the blog. Okay so the blog is still here it's still looking fine. If you were on a custom domain and you move those name servers you'll probably still see your blogger blog just because the name servers take up to 72 hours to update. All right, up to 72 hours. It's usually quicker if you're, especially if you're in an area that's very, um, very dense with a lot of computers and and your server is updating really quickly. If you're out in the jungle or maybe in the desert, then it's going to take probably the full 72 hours for you. All right, so at this point, we've backed up our blog, we've gotten our domain and hosting, we've paid for it, we've installed WordPress, and we've swapped name servers. All right. All right, here it is. This is your new dashboard for your WordPress blog. And then I want to get rid of the um, the um, stock post and page. All right. So WordPress comes with one post. We can just trash it. We don't want that. And it comes with a page, I believe. All right, we can just trash our sample page by clicking trash and really clean up this place so we can move in our blogger content. All right, so to start the official migration, we're gonna go to Tools, Tools, and then we can just click on Import. So once we're here, we can click on Blogger. And this is the Blogger importer that WordPress offers. It is the recommended way to import posts from Blogger to WordPress. And I'm just going to click install now over here. So we can just click the install now button. All right, and then we can click activate plugin and run importer. And then we need to authorize WordPress. All right, so we're going to be sent through an authorization page. Let's click authorize. All right. And then WordPress is requesting permission to manage our Blogger account. That's fine. This is exactly what we want. All right, we want to be able to connect the two accounts and uh, basically create a link between them. We do trust this application, so we can allow access. And once we click on that, we'll be taken back to WordPress. Here we are in WordPress, all right? This is the one we want, right at the top. And you'll likely have more content, more posts than four, and more comments than two over here. And then also images and links you'll have. So just this is the process, and um, it will take a little bit longer depending on how much content you have. So let's click on the import and get this started. All right, importing posts. That went pretty quickly. Uh, two images came through, which is great. It said a zero before, but then it found two of them, so it pulled over two of our blogger images. And then once that is done, we can click Set Authors. So you might need to click the Import button actually a few times if it pauses or if you get one of those loading symbols that sits there for too long. Feel free to just click Import multiple times. So we are going to set authors. There's one author here, and that's me. And I'm going to 
tell WordPress that those posts are mine and I'm the author. All right, so now this is complete. Congratulations. We have now migrated the posts and the images and the comments from Blogger to WordPress. We could actually go ahead and do any of these things now, whichever one looks the most appealing, and I'm going to actually review posts. So I'm just going to click this link, and there we have it. All of our content from the Blogger blog was successfully moved to WordPress. So let's check it out. All right, so this is pretty exciting. Our content is here. Everything from our long posts, long titles, to beach bumming, and our checklist that we used before, all right? And then our moving announcement. So if we looked at our checklist, we could see we are now complete through number six, all right? We've done all these steps, one, two, three, four, five, six. And now it is time to make sure our WordPress posts look exactly like our blogger posts or as much as we can to preserve our SEO and our Google rankings and also to preserve our social statistics. I'm going to open up our checklist and we can see the link up here looks a little bit different than it did at blogger. All right. So let's see how it looked on blogger. So let's open up these two posts side by side. And our goal right now is to make this link look exactly like this link up here. All right, so you'll notice that HTML is different and um, the date is different. So we got to make those two look the same in order for the redirection to work and for a bunch of other things to work also, like the SEO and the social. All right, let's go to our dashboard. And now it's time to adjust the permalinks. Okay, so we're going to go to settings permalinks and once you do that all right just go down to custom structure we can just click custom structure and then I have it written out for you right here you want to put this exact writing with the backslashes and the the percentage signs and all this put this exactly in this blank down here like we're about to do so if I paste that in save changes then if we go to that post we can see that now this link looks exactly like this link all right so that's great we can actually do ourselves one better all right because some of the blogger posts are gonna have longer titles and um, WordPress is gonna put a few more words in them than blogger did with their 39 character limit so like this one, for example, won't be the same as, as, um, as this post over here. Um, you'll notice that Blogger cuts off some of the title up in the URL bar, and WordPress doesn't. And we want those to match up exactly. So the fix for that is a little bit random, but I was fortunate enough to find it, and we're, we're now going to use a plugin. All right. So you want to go to this site. It's called justinsomnia.org. I'll make sure to give you this link in the comments of the video. And then we can scroll down and I want to download the plugin. All right. So in, in step two here, I just want to click this link. All right. Once we do that, we can go back over to our dashboard and we're going to pull in our very first plugin. All right. We're going to install a plugin. So just hover on plugins and then go to add new. All right. And this is going to help our links look exactly the same from Blogger to WordPress, which again is good for SEO and it's good for social. All right. Because companies like Google and Facebook store all kinds of data within our links. All right. Let's click on upload plugin and then we can choose a file. And I'm just going to sort of type in the title of it. All right. The harder she blows. And now I'm just going to click install now. All right, we have installed our first plugin. We can activate it. And that's really cool. It's now over here in plugins. These are where all your plugins live. All right, so the blogger importer is a plugin. 
I guess that was our first one technically, so this was our second plugin in our new blog. And they're both active, so that's great. Alright, we need to do one more step for those permalinks. Go to Tools, and then once we're in Tools, we can click Maintain Blogger Permalinks. And then we just want to click on this button. Basically, it just updated those two posts to the exact structure that they were on Blogger. Alright, so we don't have very much content, so it's pretty easy. Again, that might take longer for you with more content. But let's go and check out this post. And thankfully now the link structure is exactly like it was on Blogger. Alright, so that's pretty cool and we're looking a lot better. Alright, here's what we want to do now, guys. We want to redirect Blogger, the Blogger blog, like the homepage and all the posts, to our new WordPress site. Alright, so we want to set up the redirect. So, to set up the redirect, we have to go back over to WordPress. We're going to make use of another plugin. So we can go to plugins and then add new. Alright, so we want to look for what's called blogger 301 redirect. And I think we can just install it right from our dashboard. Just going to click enter to search. All right, here it is. This is a very popular plugin. It is the recommended way to redirect your blogger blog so that people can seamlessly click on posts, on old links, on maybe your old guest posts, or on links in Google, and can get to your new blog seamlessly without any sort of problem and with one-on-one -on -one mapping. All right, 22,000 downloads, great plugin. We are going to click Install Now and then click OK. And then activate plugin. Alright, there it is, right here. So it's all set, but it's not really working yet. So to make it work, we have to go to Settings and then Blogger 301 Redirect. So just click on that Blogger 301 Redirect, the blue link. Alright. And then there are three criteria before we can run this. All right. Um, so we already did number two. We changed the permalink settings. We already did number three. We already imported our posts using this uh, this internal importer, which is great. It's exactly what we did. We should also change the time zone. I'm not sure this matters, but you know we'll just follow the directions. So to change the time zone, we go to settings general. All right, and then uh, I'm just going to choose UTC minus 5, which is uh, New York time, and save our options. Okay, so this makes sure that when you publish a post, um, things look as they should. All right, the time is, is what it should be. All right, and now we want to actually get this plugin working. So let's go back to the Blogger 301 redirect settings. We're going to check this, this this and this all right so we're going to check those four boxes and then save changes all right and then it looks like there are two methods and we're going to use the classic template method all right so i'm just going to copy everything in this box all right is copy it up and then we will go to blogger go back to blogger so we're almost done now we're gonna go back to blogger go to the design and then from our design panel we are gonna make sure we're on the classic template so we're gonna revert to classic we can just click that link and then I want to check out our HTML all right so if you remember before, we already backed up this template. All right, we already have it in our files, which is really helpful right here. So make sure you, you save a copy of that HTML before you do anything here. Once you do that, we're going to highlight this whole thing and paste in the redirect code. Just paste it in. And then we're going to click Save Template. All right, so I think that should do it. So now let's look at our posts. 
and I'm just going to try to test one out to see if this did in fact work. And we'll cross our fingers. Might as well do our checklist because we've looked at that so much. And ta-da! Great. So the redirect is working. I'm really happy about that. It is seamless and one-on-one -on -one mapping with our links being the same as they were on Blogger. You know, minus that dot blog spot and this is perfect so people can now get to our new blog easily and conveniently and uh, yeah things are working just fine try out a couple more posts just to make sure they're all working if you ever did want to revert back um, you have the backup of your blogger template so if you wanted to keep people on blogger you would just basically reverse the change we just made in our HTML template. Alright everyone, that brings us to the end of our Blogger to WordPress migration tutorial. I want to say congratulations on successfully moving your Blogspot blog and all of its content over to WordPress. Welcome to WordPress, I hope you enjoy it and I hope you can navigate it well and I hope you do really well and can blog for a career if you want or can blog for a huge audience or can just have things however it is you want them. I want to remind you to please hit the like button, please post a comment to say hello, and if you can, if you know anyone who's going to move blogs, go ahead and send them this link via email. It really takes a couple seconds and it helps me out a ton.